Mold is a type of fungi that we find everywhere, but unfortunately, once it gets inside of our homes, it creates health hazards. One of our uh, biggest challenges uh, with mold remediation is getting into tight spots. We're required to physically remove the mold from the structure. Traditionally, we use sanding, wire brushing, or other abrasive methods. It was multiple man hours. Uh, it was very messy anytime you sand or grind, uh, especially on concrete or brick with mortar, things of that nature. Uh, it's a, it's a, a very dirty uh, environment, which then cost us more time as far as cleanup. When you dry ice blast, you're not creating any secondary waste. The cold jet product, we're able to do so much better of a job than we ever could before. The best we could ever hope to do before was probably remove somewhere in the neighborhood of 85% of the mold. Now we're getting much closer to 99, 100%. Now that we use dry ice blasting, uh, we're literally able to go in there and do an effective job of cleaning in a space that, that we've tried in the past with scrubbing and planing and grinding. In an attic when you have so many nails coming through the sheeting of the roof, you just can't clean around all that. But with blasting, we're able to not only go in and handle the project and be effective with it, but at a less cost of what it would have been if we could even complete it by traditional methods. Before I started using the cold jet system, that there were jobs that I considered to be too difficult or too large for me to handle. But with cold jet, now I don't walk away from anything because the production rate, I'm enjoying three, four, five, six times production rate depending on the unique characteristics of the structure. If we were in a, uh, a typical attic space over a, an average size home, there may be four individuals in the attic and they may be up there anywhere from five to seven to eight days depending on the surface area of mold to be cleaned. Now we're able to complete that same project in under three days with only two individuals, with only one of those in the attic, the other one generally at the machine feeding ice. The ability to locate the, the actual dry ice blasting machine outside of the crawl space and run 40, 60, 80 feet of hose into the crawl space and then have nozzles that are designed to go around corners and things where you can work in very tight quarters. That's, you know, that's, that's what it takes to get in and do those tough jobs. When you have a square cavity and a round disc on a sander, you can't get the corners. With dry ice blasting, there's truly no area untouched. With cold jets equipment, you don't have downtime. The cold jet equipment we found to be very simple to operate, pretty much plug and play. You're able to hook a compressor to the machine, hook the hose to the machine, put your nozzle of, of choice on, fill it with ice and start blasting. It's truly that simple. I find the cold jet system most valuable to my business when I'm talking to my customers because I can assure them that I am going to be able to provide a quality that my competitors absolutely cannot touch. With dry ice blasting, we've really become uh, the leader in our industry, in our market. I work very hard for my money, and when I'm going to make a purchase of any significance, I do a lot of research. I have to. And the cold jet system it was so much more complete. If you want to make the money, if you want to do the big jobs, you want to make production, and production, by the way, is profit. And cold jet is the way to go.